Trump just blindsided Mueller, sent brutal warning of what will happen by the conservative Jew for rwnofficial.com. Corey Lewandowski, who served as Donald Trump's campaign manager during the 2016 primaries, has told Fox News Sunday that President Trump's legal team, led by Mayor Rudy Giuliani, has confirmed that they will take it uh, special counsel uh, Robert Mueller and his Democrat cronies to court if they decide to subpoena him as part of the probe into Russian collusion. They will take it to court, and I believe the uh, court is going to be on the president's side on this, Lewandowski said Sunday. Lewandowski was addressing the tense and uh, protracted deliberations over a possible uh, interview with Mueller uh, that some Republican allies have rightly warned could very well end up being a perjury trap. Fox News revealed over the weekend that the president's legal team had gone as far as to send a letter to Mueller in January claiming Trump could not be forced to testify and also that he could not have committed obstruction of justice because of his broad authority as president. But he also added that the president and his team are still willing to sit down to questions with Mueller's team, but they want to first determine the scope of the questions which will be asked. This would avoid a subpoena fight. The former campaign manager uh, did also stress that he believes the president would never defy a court order because he respects the rule of law in this country too much to do so. Here is more on the investigation via Fox News. Uh, I, I'm just going to cut in here. He, he doesn't. He won't uh, avoid. It. The Democrats don't play fair. Why do we have to follow the rules? That's what I say. I mean, really. The investigation into uh, Russian involvement in the 2016 presidential election continues with special counsel Robert Mueller at its helm. Mueller, 73, took over the federal government's probe into alleged collusion between President Trump's campaign and Russian officials in May of 2017. Already, his investigation has led to charges for four uh, Trump campaign associates through none uh, though none of the uh, charges are directly related to any misconduct by the president's campaign. Yeah, unrelated charges. Trump has, in the past, expressed uh, willingness to testify under oath as part of Mueller's investigation and has repeatedly denied any collusion with Russians. The Department of Justice announced the appointment of Mueller to oversee the federal investigation into Russia's alleged meddling in the 2016 election in May of 2017. The appointment came after a growing cry, mostly from Democrats, for someone outside the Justice Department to handle the probe. Attorney General Jeff Sessions had already recused himself from the investigation. Mueller led the FBI through the September 11, 2001 attack and re uh, served under the uh, presidential administration of both parties. For the inquiry into the 2016 election, Mueller has the authority to prosecute any crimes uncovered during this investigation, and he was given wide authority to investigate whether Trump or his associates colluded with the Kremlin to win the White House. Uh, is Mueller blind? I mean, is he blind? Because I don't think he's blind. He, he, did you take a look at Hillary? This was going to be the, you, you question that she lost because of the Kremlin? Just take a look at the, the, the sack of a mess that she is. Anyway, former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, one focus of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the alleged Russian meddling in 2016, presidential election, hides behind a car visor as he leaves his home in Alexandria, Virginia, after being asked to surrender to federal authorities. Um, in his leading role, Mueller took over an ongoing investigation into Paul Manafort's financial dealings in the Ukraine. Manafort, Trump's former uh, campaign chairman, and Richard Gates uh, were indicted on October 27 on multiple counts, including conspiracy 
uh, against the U.S., conspiracy to launder money, false statements and failure to file reports to foreign bank and financial accounts. Manafort and, Gage, and Gates initially pleaded not guilty to the charges. Uh, ne nearly uh, four months later, on February 22nd, the pair was hit with additional tax evasion and bank fraud charges. And the amount of money Manafort was accused of laundering through offshore accounts increased to $30 million. Uh, did they check uh, Hillary out? D did Mueller check Hillary out? Let's see what she's what she's doing, what she's up to. Uh, uh, money laundering and uh, and uh, corruption, right? Uh, Gates pleaded guilty in federal conspiracy and all this. Uh, it goes on with Manafort. Michael Flynn, the administration's short-lived national security advisor, was charged in December. Uh, with lying to the FBI about a certain conversation he had with a Russian ambassador, he pleaded guilty. Additionally, George Papadopoulos pleaded guilty in 2017 to one count of making a false statement to investigating FBI agents. According to court documents, Papadopoulos was a foreign policy advisor for Trump's campaign. I should say he was planted in there by the FBI. I can't get that out of my mind at all. He was working for the FBI. Don't fall for the act. He was planted there. And these are false charges against Carter Page. I mean, uh, you know, uh, yeah. Okay. I gotta, I gotta keep a track. <laughs> oh my, oh my, I'm losing it. Additionally, where am I? Additionally, George Papadopoulos pleaded guilty for the making of the false statement. Alex Van Der Zwan, an attorney, pleaded guilty to lying to investigators about Gates in the uh, Russia inquiry. R Richard Pinedo, a California man who sold bank accounts to Russians meddling in the election, pleaded guilty uh, using stolen identities to set up accounts. The U.S. government said Pinedo uh, ha ha was not aware he was dealing with Russians when he sold the accounts, however. Then we got the 13 Russians and the three entities. However, the Justice Department did not say the actions had an impact on the outcome of the election. So what the, what the hell, might I ask, was he doing? Deputy Attorney General, the uh, little rat, Rod Rosenstein, said there is no allegation in this indictment that any American was a knowing participant in this illegal activity. However, New York Times uh, has obtained questions Mueller had provided to Trump's lawyers that he wants the president to answer. The questions include information related to Flynn, Sessions, fired uh, uh, Crooked Comey, and the uh, Andrew McCabe and his campaign connections to Russia, in including the uh, now infamous Trump Tower meeting with Manafort and uh, the setup that Loretta Lynch arranged, you know, through Hillary Clinton to set up the lawyer, Natalia Veselnitskaya. Come on. I mean, this is just a joke at this point. So disgraceful that the questions concerning the Russian witch hunt were leaked to the media. No questions on collusion. Trump said in a tweet, oh, I see. You have a made up phony crime collusion that never existed and an investigation begun with illegally leaked classified information. Nice. I agree with Trump. The Trump administration has sharply criticized Mueller's investigation as several of his attorneys on staff donated to, to Democratic campaigns, including to Trump's 2017 rival Hillary Clinton. Additionally, two FBI officials, Peter Strzok and Page, are under fire for the anti-Trump text messages yeah, that's it. They were anti-Trump. No, let's talk about the real messages. They, they were talking about the insurance policy in, a, in Andrew McCabe's office and other dealings uh, and, and ratted out. Now uh, the Obama administration was involved. Instead of calling it president, they said a senior official uh, in, the, in, the, in the government. Yeah, all right. What has Trump said about Mueller's investigation? Trump has oftentimes dismissed the allegations that he colluded with the Russians during the election. He said uh, 
he is looking forward to eventually being questioned under oath by Mueller. Well, I, uh, I would not condone that. He's said the allegations are fake, a fake story that is demeaning to all of us, and most of all demeaning to our country and demeaning to our Constitution. Uh, yeah, but they have no respect for that, you see. I just hope the final determination is a truly honest one, which is what the millions of people who gave us our big win in November deserve and what all Americans who want a better future want and deserve, Trump said at a rally in West Virginia last year. I just hope the final determination is a truly honest one, President Trump uh, said, I guess. Uh, the president also warned Mueller to stay within certain boundaries as he investigates. Trump and Mueller have sent messages back and forth according to Trump's outside counsel. A spokesman uh, for Mueller told Fox News that the messages have been very professional. Uh, it's been over a year and Mueller and his associates still can't seem to be able to find any wrongdoing by the president. Maybe it's time to put a stop to this farce and go after the real criminals here. Hillary and Bill Clinton, uh, Barack Obama, the DNC and other Obama's FBI and uh, Justice uh, Department people, right? I mean, this is just sickening, but the guy on Maria Bartiromo, which were Democrats, both of them, the one I put up uh, just about, uh, about an hour ago or so, uh, they actually said about Mueller that Mueller doesn't care about what the law is and uh, he just goes for, he goes for it, uh, he gets the people, if he wants you, he's going to get you no matter what and that he's uh, out for blood in a sense uh, when, when, he, uh, when he's talking uh, about Trump. I mean that he's after Trump, full speed ahead, you know? Uh, so this uh, this thing, I don't even agree to any kind of sit down. Uh, if I was president and the Constitution says, and my attorneys say I don't have to sit down with him, I would not sit down with him. I would not answer any questions. If the president has the authority to fire Mueller, I would fire Mueller, and I wouldn't care if the left went nuts. T uh, I would take the authority and say, that's it. Enough is enough already. Either show me any kind of proof that you have or else we're shutting it down now. Show us the proof or else shut it down. Now, not, not tomorrow, not in two weeks. Now, what is your basis for this kind of investigation? What did you find? You can't, you can't go looking for a crime. You can't be going looking for a crime. In other words, you're guilty while, while I'm looking for a crime that you committed. Does that make any sense to anybody? Come on. That's why he indicted 13 uh, Russians in the in, that are in Russia. No extradition for... I mean... It, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.